Hello guys, in this video we will cover how to download multiple GSM sample files from a given GSE which is a series ID given that all these values are consistent with those stored in the genome expression omnibus dataset present online. The information about the full form and what these variables stand for is given in this particular link which I will put in the description below. Um, it will tell you everything about what GEO datasets stand for. You might have a number of GEO datasets to access which you cannot do manually because it will take a lot of time. So in order to do it with Python, uh, you need to download the GEO parse Python library. For that, you need to open your pip console. So in my anaconda prompt, I will just write pip install geo parse. Once it has successfully downloaded, you can reopen or open your Python shell to begin the code. For this particular example, uh, let me first show you the correct GSE that we will be trying to access as well as all the GSMs that are contained in it. Uh, so this is GSE 15824 which I have picked up arbitrarily. It is the expression profiling by a microarray. Uh, this microarray data contains 45 samples. We can minimize that. It's still here. And we will be downloading the soft formatted family file. You can just click on it. Um, there's another way to download the same data. It is the raw file. But for now, we will be working with the soft format from which you just need to download this file. Once you have downloaded the file, all you need to do is start writing your import statement. Declare the variable in which you will be storing the GEO parse object. Dot get. As you can see, it provides you all these options since this library has been successfully imported through pip. So you can mention the file path. That's the location where you just stored your uh, GSE15824 file, as well as the destination directory. This is the location where you would like to extract all the samples inside the GSE. So I stored my file on, on the desktop, so I'll just copy this link. C15824 uh, Take care to write the raw string before you input anything and over here you can write the same path Take care to change your directory. For example, right now I am in this particular directory, but I want to download all my samples into my desktop directory. And now I am over here. As you can see, it's currently an empty folder. So I will be downloading all my data sets over here. Once I have written this, I will just create a simple for loop to extract everything.
you can print the name of the file that you're trying to transfer so maybe just a little bit or more space and you need to convert the values that you are getting which is a tabular format into a csv file so i am going one step further to create a tab separated value instead of a comma separated value this is the name of the file that you want to save i'm going to just name it a dot txt extension index is none for us the separator which is the delimiter will be slash t and the mode is writing so this code is ready to run so as you can see the geo parse has successfully begun transferring all the files And here is where our for loop is running. So the loop has completely run and we can check our folder to confirm whether all the files have actually been transferred. See them over here. It's all 45 of them. So let me just open one on notepad plus plus and this is what they look like any information that you might require about these data sets might be available on the geo website thank you for watching